we're at Mo Richardson with Brian checking out some of your products. Now, you guys, um, you weren't the first to go into LED, but you're definitely uh, led the the quality of LED. Yes, um, yes. With, and, and that was with your soft lights. Yes. Now, um, everybody's been kind of waiting to see where hard light LED technology yes, is being yes, pushed to. Yes. Some people are coming out with it. You guys are releasing um, a brand new, mm -hmm. to me, the most powerful LEDs I've seen on the market. And I'm really excited about them because this, this is a 5K that can run on a household circuit. Yes, yes. Uh, so tell me about the senior LEDs. Well, we'd like to call this, this is the most powerful LED for now in the world today. This is a 5,000 watt equivalent in tungsten. Uh, or in this case here, this is a daylight version, which would be the equivalent of like a 1200 watt HMI. Uh, consumes about seven and a half amps at 110 volts AC, uh, which means basically if you're shooting in a house or something, you can put two of them on a 20 amp circuit. Uh, everything's self-contained, no separate ballast hanging off the edge. Uh, you know, built-in DMX dims to zero. You can dim it to five percent, two percent, three percent, and uh, we're choosing our, our same uh, quantum dot technology. What we've been using. Um, also one of the unique features on this too, it has fast advanced focus, so about three and a half turns of the focus knob gets it into spot or flood very fast. Um, and basically the size of the unit itself, everything being self-contained, it's actually not, it's, it's not much bigger than a standard senior really, it's about two or three inches. So it's been a lot of design work gone into this to incorporate the cooling mechanism, the, the power supplies and all that into one you know, usable package. So, we're really excited about it because there's really else is nothing else out there like this that puts out you know this amount of light. For example, in at daylight, this in flood, this puts out a thousand foot candles at 10 feet. That's flood, and in spot, it puts out about 2,200, 2200 foot candles. Uh, so it really is a what I would consider the first um, uh, LED. HMI equivalent for some of the bigger lights, the 1200 watt lights, you know, like you might buy use from an area or something like that. So we're we're really excited about this. this light. And you have both a, a daylight and a tungsten. Yes, version. we do. Yes, we do. Are the photometrics the same for the tungsten? Uh, they're a little less for tungsten with the LED technology um, and the way the LEDs are designed. For example, the LED uh, chip that's in this light is a is a custom made LED to Mole Richardson design. Reason why it's custom made is because we are we consider ourselves so far ahead of the technology. There's nothing available off the shelf. Ninety-five percent of the people at the show are using off-the-shelf technology, whether it's Cree or Bridge Lux. Um, we we couldn't do that because we wouldn't be able to stay ahead of the curve. This is uh, chip in here is completely designed by ourselves. Yes, it is available. We have tungsten version right over here, and. Um, we probably in the future working on maybe a color changing version as well. You can switch from one or the other, just the color temperature. All right, so um, this is a, a, the 900 watt draw, uh, yes. but it is dimmable. Yes, it um, is. So yes. You, you know, you're, you're getting rid of scrims. Um, does that change any of the, the um, CRI or? or no, it doesn't. The scrims are none. Of, it doesn't really change the CRI. There's really, I mean, you got onboard dimming, which do the same as scrims. Uh, some of the uh, people that have been in the film business quite a long time like to use scrims because it's a def definitive point where they can say, hey, drop one in or whatever. But you know, you have the onboard dimming where you can you can set it if you want to. Um, but no, there is no change in um, color temperature uh, at all. It should have no impact on it whatsoever. So what is the CRI? On the CRI on the daylight is 91 CRI and then de uh, CRI on the tungsten is 95 CRI. CRI unto itself is a sort of a, a loose measurement that we use and people are familiar with, but it's sort of like your GPA. You can have six A's and one F. It's your overall GPA looks good. What's important about when you dig deeper under CRI is the the mix of colors that you're getting, whether the reds and the magentas and that, you know, and not too much green. That's that's really more important that we consider, but uh, our focus has been with the LED technology and since we do develop our own LED chips has been on the color uh, and that's where our quantum dot technology comes in. Uh, there, I don't think there's any other manufacturers using quantum dot. What quantum dot helps us do, helps us get deeper red colors uh, for, for the LED and less green. So.
Yeah. And because I mean, I've seen the Aiden text. Yes. You know, they've got very bright, but a lot of people complain about a lot of green cast. Right, and know. that's and that's exactly, uh, you know, our our heritage is obviously in the film business. Um, it seems that uh, the the TV stations are the are the more quicker to adapt the LED technology right now. The film side is a little slower to adapt it. Um, yeah, you can have really bright LEDs, but they have a lot of green because green appears brighter to the eye, and um, that is not something we're, we're focused more on getting the right color. Too much green is just something that we, 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 you know, we you know, but yeah, you are right about that. Yes, yeah. And so, I mean, like you said, a lot of people have been hesitant. Yes. LEDs have a stigma. Yes, to yes, them yes, yes, yes. In, in, to the point where some people just don't want to use well, LEDs. Well, the, the stigma, I think, is, um, you know, it's it's a relatively new uh, technology. Well, it's not, it's been out five, six, seven years now. And I think the initial technology uh, has certainly helped shape some of the opinions, you know, the first thing, which is always the case. Uh, but, you know, in, in all our fixtures here, whether it, it be tungsten, you can take our t a tungsten LED that we make today and mix it with our standard tungsten uh, lamps, and um, you can, there's, there's no difference. Uh, you can't do that with a lot of the existing LED technology because of too much green or it's a different manufacturers. So, yeah, what, what we find is a lot of the manufacturers go for the cheap fix. You know, they oh, I get it, they get an LED chip and it has lots of green and it appears bright, but we go for the color spectrum more. So we'd rather have less output and the right color ratios than go for a higher output. And uh, but that's not to say actually most of our LEDs this this 5,000K equivalent does put out the same amount of light as a 5,000 watt tungsten lamp, and you got less heat, you know, and all those type of things. I can touch it. You wouldn't be able to do this on a 5,000 uh, watt, uh, you know. So. Right, so I'm really excited about this. Yes. I mean, so am I. I'm jumping up and down. See this? <laughs> Look at me jumping. I mean, honestly, even a 1.2K HMI. Yes. Um, is, is yes. as finicky as it's going to be, and you know all the problems that you run into, it's still going to be more expensive. No, it, no, actually, well, okay, what's the benefit of this versus a 1200 watt HMI? No lenses, right? I can focus this right down to a tiny spot or to a wide flood. Um, I don't, it's, I don't have a separate ballast. I can dim to zero or five percent. You can only dim to fifty percent on a on a uh, typical HMI. So you got all these features that you can that you can use. You can control hot restrike. It. And yeah, hot restrike, restrike. You can turn it on and off as many times as you want. You know. Yeah. Talk about hot restrike. You can do that as many times as you want, right? You can do that on HMI, right? So. Um, so let's talk about price. Uh, okay. These are available now. They, what are we looking? They at? are available. The the list price on this unit is fifty five hundred dollars, and um, you know if you compare that to a uh, you know a twelve hundred watt HMI ballast light, it's actually cheaper. Right. And the other thing about it is with some of the LED technology today, really is a lot of the fixtures are you know they look new, they're real space age looking. We've tried to really capture the essence of our old um, look but with the new technology so everything is sort of what familiar on this you know you got the same look same look of light and you just got some extra buttons DMX and and dimming so we've tried to keep it simple so that people are not sort of scared by the technology as well that they can say oh yeah I know what's going on here you know uh, that's not always the case so. So both tungsten daylight available. Yeah. Is there any possibility of a bicolor down the road? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Yes, uh, we do have some new products here that are that are bicolor, like our space light behind us. Uh, soft lights are in bicolor, so we are uh, migrating towards that technology because it seems like that's really. I prefer to use the term variable color than bicolor. I don't like the term bicolor. Variable color. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, are the no for your version of the variable color? Um, do you lose output when you switch to that? Uh, we have focused on on any product we've introduced with variable color, say the soft light. So on a 2K, you can adjust the uh, color temperature from 2800 to 5600. You will get as much output in 2800 as in 5600. So that is one of our key requirements. If you were to compare it to a, a normal uh, 2K 2591 soft light.
Yeah. 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 And so, so there was. So no, no, you no, no, no loss. <laughs> that was a, that was sort of been a short answer, but yeah. And then, but then at the same point, you're also getting the the variable color is still the output is as the same output as a single color unit as well. Yes. Okay. Yes. Because yes. that's usually the thing I notice. Is yes. No. And that's the thing. We will not. Uh, we will make sure that it puts out as much light as the single color. Yes. Awesome. Yes. Great. Well, thanks so much for your time. Thank Ryan. you, sir. Thank you. Awesome. All right. Thank you. Thanks to our sponsors for making our Cinegear coverage possible.